Hey guys, what's up? This is Spencer here, and today we are going to look at different ways to fix the index.xml file is missing when trying to open a pages file in Mac. Now, first thing I'm doing here is actually getting everything ready. So if you want to skip ahead to a minute 25, I'll leave a link in the description for that. And that's where the action really starts. I will tell you, though, uh, this video took a long time to make. Uh, there's many errors along the way. And I had to do some manipulation to get things to work right. So you might see some jumps and whatnot. But here it is. Hopefully it will help you. And... Um, I hope you enjoy it. Now, first thing I'm doing, I'm just creating a file here for our, which the, is the pages file we're going to open. And I have to do some manipulation to get the error to happen. Now, if you didn't see the first video, you're going to probably want to go back and watch that where I show you how to export a file. That way you're able to open it on another computer if you have a second Mac available to you. Now the methods I'll show in this video are things you might do if you don't have another Mac. Let's get started. So I'm going to try to open the file. You see we get the error. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually try to update everything on the computer. So I'm going to open the App Store, click on the Update tab. And then once the updates load and I can see what's available, I'm just going to click on update all. Now in this case, it's already ready. I need to restart. So we're going to do that. Now for me, this update took forever. It's the evening now, but it worked. We've updated the computer and we're going to try to open the file. It works. Okay, for the second method, we're gonna rename it. For this next method, we're gonna plug a USB stick in. We're gonna move the file to the USB stick. Now you could use this to move the file between another Mac where you could possibly open it and do the export method as I showed in my first video. But if you can't do that, another method that will at least give you access to see what was in the file or get access to the resources, like if you had pictures in there or something, is to move it to a PC and change the file name from whatever.pages to whatever.zip. Once you've done that, you'll be able to extract the file and get access to the little extras in there. As you can see from here, there's some PNG files and a few other things. The next method we'll look at, we're going to go ahead and stay on the computer, even though you could do this from your Mac. And we're going to use iCloud to open the file. You could open the file with iCloud and then email it or export it to another type or whatever you needed to do but it should just work as an in-play solution as it did for me. So we'll get logged into iCloud. Once we're logged in, we'll be able to click on pages. Once we've clicked on pages, we should see our file is available to us and we should be able to open it. There you can see our file. This leads us to our last method, which is to use our iPhone. So I'm back on the Mac and I've got the iPhone pulled up as a recording. I'm searching for pages and I'm opening it. Once pages is loaded, we should be able to just use our iCloud to find the file we want to open and then open it. So I'm getting out of what I'm in. I can see my test file here. I'm clicking on loading and there it is. Now we can click on the three dots and I'm going to click send a copy pages and then I'm going to select email. For me, it was inbox. Now I should be able to send a copy that works to myself. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Please subscribe and share the video.